Hello my soccer universe, this will be a slightly different video, uh, one that I wanna in one way get off my chest but also ask a few questions, there's no coincidence uh, that I'm wearing the retro Lusk jersey because it's kind of, I'm a little bit caught between uh, the modern aspects of football and you know having a brand new stadium and you know everything is going for success uh, but also money and then on the other side uh, you know, a little bit of the tra tra tradition and what uh, soccer clubs actually meant for communities and for generally for people and overall the overarching stadium experience and if there isn't uh, another way, potentially there is one that is in a testing phase that I want to get to it and that's why I will fit this in the playlist with the league season in Austria and, Ger and Germany. Maybe I'll find another type of place for you because I'm, I might do more of these types of videos. The whole thing got triggered last Sunday when I went with my family to the last game. And my older daughter knew that one of her best friends is also going to these games. But we never could see her, which uh, already was a little, little bit weird. Because you know, the family, family section, yes, it's behind the goal. And maybe if they would have sat somewhere up or wherever, might... Well, it might be uh, easy to miss, but now we have already been to four games and it was a little, little bit better that we've never seen them. Uh, however, walking up to the stadium, we suddenly see them coming from the main parking lot from the stadium. And it has, has, has to be said that um, it is not you cannot simply park on the parking lot unless you're a VIP. But I didn't think much of it. And this uh, girl is running to my kids. Where are you guys sitting? Where are you guys sitting? We finally see, see you. We're in the lounges. And as soon as she said that, I mean, I reacted rather quickly. We said, yeah, we're sitting right behind the goal because we are sitting right behind the goal. We are right in front of the action. But I have to say, um, my, the more I thought, I thought about it, it was kind of a, a reaction that was a mixture between my heart sank a little, a little bit because I actually spent some time uh, with that girl also uh, on a birthday party and, and, and she's really nice and, and so on. Uh, but my heart sank a little bit and there was also a little bit of disgust coming with it. And it triggered a whole thought process that I actually, I tried to tell to my wife as well on the, that evening. Why I felt uh, this sadness or, you know, why my heart sank is not because we cannot really afford, uh, the, yes, we cannot afford going to the lounges. I mean, but we can afford a season, uh, at least a half season ticket, we will afford a season ticket to go, 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 go up. So it's not that it's that bad. Um, it is just my sadness is that I think a little bit this stadium experience uh, that I used to have is gone. For me, part of going to a stadium, yes, I'm a maniac. I want to watch the game. And this is the main reason for me. But there was a, a, another aspect to it that I really enjoyed. It's kind of watching people and especially in the old stadium, as crappy as it was, it was, I mean, you had the running track, uh, you had three quarters of the stadium the standing area. It could hold up to 20,000 in uh, when I was going uh, there before it got renovated. Re 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 it was only one side, there was a seating stand where, you know, yes, if you wanted to spend a little bit more money. We were also twice there for good games because we knew that there will be some trouble within the stands. Uh, it's better to go to the seating area, especially when we were young and my father wanted to get out of trouble there. So, you know, we had that, but it was never as segregated as it is now with the lounges. And you could see in the old stadium, you went there and it was a mixture because it was such a huge standing room area. It, there was really a mixture. Yes, there were the sections, but this is for the fan club only. The hardcore fans are standing in this section. Um, but other than that, you could freely choose wherever you want to be. Do you want to be behind the goal? Do you want to be on the side? Do you want to be close to midfield? Which, of course, most people would like to be close to midfield or close to one of the boxes or, or whatever. But you got the cross section from the factory worker, Lindsay's after all, Steel Town, to the banker, to you know, uh, you know, unless you're a politician, you uh, you probably didn't show up uh, there, but um. You saw every part of society, more or less in there, every part of the football interest, uh, interest in society, uh, you saw there. And this was really interesting. And you saw it from uh, really small to really big. Now, in the new stadium, as I said, it's way more sex. We have 
the fan section. This is for, as I call them, the plebs. Now, you know, those are tickets are uh, probably the cheapest ones. They're all pushed together in a beautiful stand. And don't get me wrong, the new stadium is miles better in terms of atmosphere than the old one. And also for the players, it, it's a great sta stadium, but it fills me a little bit also with sorrow. You have the hardcore fan base and the one that go for the cheap seats, they have a four and a half thousand people stand. Then there is on the side. It's already a little bit more expensive, but this is more or less middle class where you sit on, you have nice seating behind the goal. It is cheaper because there's the family se the section, of course, yeah, there's, there's the away section, we had the other goal. Uh, but it's also, you know, fam for families, when I see there, it is mostly, again, middle class, but it's definitely more families. There are mo uh, way more kids uh, with all the positives and negatives that br it brings with it. I mean, uh, last game was really nice because there were many kids like us uh, around it. At the big games, there were, you know, many football teams coming with the, 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 their little players, the under nines or the under tens and so on. And then the atmosphere is usually a little bit more crazy. But okay, it's all there, but that's one section. And then the very, very wealthy one that can afford the lounges up there. And then they have the little lounge that you can go in and out with the balconies that are all kind of segregated. We just stay among ourselves and we can wine and dine right there. And I understand why this is happening. I also understand that in the new stadium, the prices are much higher than in the old one. In the old one, I mean, uh, asking for 20 euros already felt much because not only was the stadium crap, uh, there was also, you know, the product on, on the field. Now, the product on, on the field is, um, I would say, still not up there with the Bundesliga. But, of course, you have a new stadium that you have to pay off. On the other side, we all know already that the standing room is not where all the money is coming from. It's coming from merchandise. It comes from deals. It comes, of course, from the lounge seats. For which reason I'm thinking, why aren't you lowering those prices, especially for the standing room a little bit more? And also, you know, maybe make some exceptions for, uh, you know, um, a, a teenagers, you know, a school kids, students and so on. Because, you know, it would at least show that you care a little bit. And the loss that that you surely can get in through other revenue streams, I would say. But what really made me say is that this girl is sitting up there great view but she's not sitting among all the people that are also cheering she's sitting with in her circle that doesn't want to really do and but doesn't, doesn't want to touch these icky other people that's what disgusts me a little bit about it because yes the old stadium experience was a little bit disgusting i did not necessarily uh shower or whatever before going to the stadium because i knew i will come home stinky i, I will smell like a smoke which fortunately this is now a thing of the past i will have some beer uh thrown over me potentially if there's a goal scored so it was a kind of a little bit of a disgusting experience but it was also also was it, it was part of the charm and of the fun in a way, and yes, I cared not so much about that <laughs> back then because it was just this is what you had to do, and that this was the way to experience uh, the feeling. But uh, that, that, that the weird thing, I mean, now that the team is not also only going to say wave goodbye to the hardcore fan base because you know all the others they're leaving immediately. Before that, yes, you went a little bit along the entire, because everything was stretched, you went the entire length of the field. So, just one thing. And I do understand, please don't get, get, get me wrong, I do understand, in order to have a financially sound club and a successful club, you need to look into revenue streams, you need to probably have a new stadium, but I... I'm a little bit mourning the old days where it was not only all about making money. I think a successful business model is the, and successful planning and so on is the most important thing to lead a club that you have. You have a philosophy to how you want to play. You uh, are you make good part partnerships, but I think it should all stay grounded a little bit within the region. And um, Lask was actually quite good, good, good at that, especially when the new regime took over. Uh, around 10 years ago, but I'm not sure. Um, they still stay largely local, but I see already a few cracks uh, in that as well. And I think the reluctance to reduce ticket prices is maybe the one thing that uh, bugs me a little bit. But I also have to say, 
if you can afford a season ticket, especially for the family ones, those are super reasonable price. It's a no brainer. I'm paying a little bit of over 200 bucks for the four of us for seven games. The new season tickets will cost us if we go the regular ones 450 for all home games. And if you get the plus package, it's a hundred more, which I'm actually seriously considering because you only you also get 10% 10, 10 off. You get a jersey for every one of us. And uh, you get all the cup home games. That's, uh, oh, the, and, and, and you get the right to uh, buy tickets for international games. For me, those are all no-brainers in a way. I probably will not go for the international games because with the kids, mid midweek is usual. But, you know, maybe I will. And maybe I will go alone or whatever. But... Um, those are super re reasonable price for over 30, uh, no, not over 30, but it's, it's 15 or 16 games a season. I think that is worth it. But if you cannot afford such a season ticket, and I understand for families it's reasonable price because you basically pay a teeny bit more than what a single person would pay. I understand. It's not, it's not the easiest thing. I all. Uh, you may not be able to afford that. Then it would be nice to have some uh, good ticket options there as well. That may be a little bit more, but not so much more. Um, but on the other side, I also understand the club because how do you put asses in seats? Well, season tickets that are reasonably priced are usually a good deal. It also brings in a clientele that is a little bit more wealthy, that will spend the money on the concession stands, maybe for the fan articles, and that's... Um, how you turn on a little bit more money as well. And I'm guilty of that as well because, you know, I like to buy fan articles like this beautiful shirt. So, you know, give or take. Overall, I want to have a successful team, but I would like that we go back to a little bit more an egalitarian stadium experience. Uh, those launches bugs me and it really bugs me even more. This is the biggest stand and it's the only one that, is ne that is, has never been sold out, even if you claim from the 19,080 seats, we have uh, over 18,000 people there, they were glaring empty spots. And this is all down to sponsors not getting their tickets to the man. And this is frankly a shame. But in Germany, and I want to end it on that, there is also a very interesting model coming from Fortuna Düsseldorf, who have three home games left. Fortuna Düsseldorf is most likely not getting promoted this season. However, they also own a stadium that is uh, city-owned and, you know, it while it's a modern stadium, it doesn't feel all that great overall. Uh, it doesn't feel like Fortuna-like. So they came up with a business model to give away tickets for free for the remaining three games and also for three games already next season. They're, they have found local companies that will make up the loss in uh, in, um, in uh, income from the in revenue from the tickets, uh, but also with kind of the caveat, you know, there are uh, you know 50 to 50 percent have to go to uh, to the women's team, the youth teams, and so on. Um, it, the details of it are not quite clear yet because they would even like to extend it further to make it that it goes for an entire season, that you have everyone going in there for free. However, the big question there is, of course, what about the hardcore fans? And I, I want to avoid now the term ultra, although it is ultimately it will be the ultras. Uh, but, you know, uh, fans that have been there forever, um, is there a way to reward these, to give them the tickets? Uh, how is it with, uh, how far away do you go? Do you get a more local audience? Are those tickets only available in Düsseldorf and in, in the surroundings? But if like there's a student that is a Fortuna fan that lives say in Berlin and he wants to go home and wants to see how do you get tickets there? So, you know, you know, there are certain things that I think still have to be figured out, but I think it's an interesting concept and I like this out of the box thinking. Maybe this is a way to uh, go forward. To kind of make up for that because let's face it in austria ticket revenue is still very much a factor it's a smaller league in the big leagues especially prime premier leagues, the ticket revenue is becoming less and less and less important it's all about the tv money so why not go the extra mile that's where i want to leave it what are your thoughts on this um as i said it's a topic that came to me a little bit inadvertently it has bugging me me uh, for the entirety of me going back into the stadium or back to the new stay, stadium, it has been a slightly bugging me. 
As great as the new stays enemies, this is something, the segregation is something that just doesn't sit right with me. But it was also, I was used to a stadium where it was really very egalitarian in that sense. But yeah, what's your experience? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon with something else. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!